Monday morning, day off yesterday, or the weather's bad. As you can hear, it's pretty windy today. It's dry. That's progress. 15 on here, it's a lintel, and a small plank. This uh, customer scaffold, a little tower here. We've got our own tower for this end to get the pipes off. So we're going to get that set up now. Tower set up this end for Alex. All loaded, drills up ready to drill the last couple of holes. Now I'm going to set up this. It's only a narrow tower, but we haven't got room to get the trestles in here. So we've got a lovely tower. We'll get Alex to return here. And then I'm going to concentrate on this end. Alex is just getting a mix in now. So we'll hit the ground run hopefully. I'll just need to get some block there for Alex. It's only one course and a couple for the pikes. So let's get this other one set up.
I have uh, I've been left again. It seems to be the uh, new old tradition of the forest and farm work now. I get, uh, I get abandoned. The wind is up. It's very dusty, very cold, very windy. I don't know how much longer I can make it. If you, if you see this, Dad, stop forgetting stuff. So I'm up, I'm up here, I'm finishing up with this. Um, once I get a course above the block work, it's a uh, lintel height, and the front's done, and I'll be doing this pike up, and then two points up and all that, and then just be a case of getting that side done then. But yeah, the wind is uh, very, it's scary up here. But uh, yeah, I'll throw it back on time lapse and we'll uh, get this up as quick as we can. Sooner the better. Alex is up to Lintel Heights and he's starting a little pike now. I'm struggling away down here. It's so cramped, so awkward. I've just been to get some more sand and cement from Fairwoods. And I'm, I'm, I'm more or less labouring on Alex at the moment, so once I get this up to something like scaffold height, I'm not going that high with it. I'm not going to struggle. Once Alex is done at that end, we can swap the scaffold to this end and carry on. And then what's left then is just uh, the lintel to go across, a couple of cores of coursing brick and the wall plate and then obviously my little pike at this end. So it's not a matter of if we finish today, it's what time we finish today because it's getting finished. So we'll go back onto time lapse for a bit more while I get out some water.
Right, it's just after one, we've had our lunch. Alex just getting topping the pike off there. Once he's backed that up, off there, he's just going to cut the blocks rough and then he can make the rooster suit. Might need to come back and patch up a bit, I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, once he's done on there, we can move this scaffold along out of the way, open this gate, put the tower at this end and I can get this end finished off. So, probably going to be a late one, but it's going to get finished, that's the main thing.
There it is. Not complete. Quick look inside. That was a slog. Not the biggest of jobs, but God, it was hard work. Okay, so, um, didn't really film much at the end because the, the sun is. So, hopefully, you'll have seen some chest mount footage of us putting the lid on and these coast of bricks in the wall plate. And there's my spirit level. Right, see you on that one. So as I'm quite local, this I've paid a quick visit to the extension job. So obviously this is the end of the video. This is a little update on how the roof's all done. Wind is yet to go in, that's on order. Made a lovely job of that roof. Yeah. Bit of efflorescence coming through now, it's all drying out. That's not a problem. There it is. Lovely tidy job. Yeah, that's it. See you on the next one.